this demo I will be soldering 0603 sized uh, surface mount resistors which uh, come in carriers like this they're uh, one and a half millimeters long three quarters of a millimeter wide I'll be using a three millimeter bevel soldering tip a very cheap a readily available tip that you can get for, uh, for hackos and, uh, and other types of iron just a few dollars I'll be using solder paste which looks like that and I'll be using a flux paste which looks like that along with standard uh, rosin core I've placed a little bit of solder paste uh, on the pads and now I'm just putting the resistor into place with some, some forceps. This is reflow in a cheap electric fry pan. Bubbling a bit. There it goes. Turn the turn the power off. Let those pop in. One more to go. There it goes and pick it up. These are partially cleaned up. Uh, there's still a, a, a little bit of paste that uh, needs to be removed. little bit blurry here. This is uh, reflow using a hot air gun set at uh, 240 degrees. I suspect that the temperature is not accurate and it's actually a bit cooler. You can see they're all uh, doing their thing. Tinning the pads, this would work better with a, a bit of uh, rework flux on the board. You can uh, see it's not going down uh, all that happily. Now I'll put some rework flux down and uh, just sit the resi resistors in place hoping to, to reflow the solder and sweat them into place. This isn't solder paste, this is just a pre tinned board with some uh, rework flux and uh, heating it up in an electric fry pan. Okay, starting to pop power off. One of them's gone crooked. One, two, three. Three have popped. Give it a tap. No, that one's not going to do it. Pulling it off. Okay, let's fix up. Let's fix up the resistor that didn't uh, didn't go down straight. Soldering without extra flux, doing just one end. Do the other end.
watch the resistor pop out the side and then uh, come back in and reattach. My preferred method is this. Now cleaned up with the flux removed. You can also pick up the resistor with the iron and transport it across to where you want to solder it. Check out my YouTube channel for other videos about surface mounted soldering.